Okay, being on black, folks, and basically, since the way that they put the shot up, I have to basically do this. So there's nothing on the right-hand side, but we are at stereo behind H12, and you're going to see from the colorization in a minute. Now, I mean, this is compressed, but watch right here, because basically you're going to see what we're going to see on the red background, because it's coming from no matter what stereo behind H12. And remember, it's compressed. Now, more than likely, this is Earth down here, and you'll know when I show you the angle of of the shot, but watch our object right there. And the sun is over here to the right because as you can see earth or whatever, doesn't matter, but it's gotta be earth because what's the only thing that's available there and there at that shot. But what we're trying to try to figure out is see this magneticals here also, there's more than one, there's quite a bit. So there's stuff over here by earth on the other side. And like I say, that side's somewhat clear because it's just supposed to be Mercury over there and so forth and so on. So, I mean, uh, Mars, excuse me, because Mercury and Venus are on the other side, and I'm going to show you, too, that when you see the other H1 shot that I'm going to show you next, now you see that flaring that it's doing? There's something doing something. Because I just have to play this because basically that's a compressed version. So you see this here because basically no matter what, this is a, and I think I got it going, so... No matter what, see that is a CME reactive flare, okay? As you see that CME reactive flare, so it's gonna be interesting what our atmosphere starts doing in the future, because more than likely this is Earth there. And let me show you that real fast, because I'll go down and get rid of our magnifier, just showing you what I have to do to get the shot. And I gotta get rid of the magnifier. Where do I got it on my window down there? Boom. And basically, boom, 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 boom. Up, oh, I screwed up. It's going to take up time. But, boom. Oh, damn it. Hit the right. I'm not. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, see, that's how small the damn thing is, okay? So, hang on. Now, folks, we're at H1B, okay? Now, what was I st just at? Okay, so you're seeing this in the colorization, and you see that there, okay? I don't even really have to blow up or do anything here. As a matter of fact, what I want to do is get rid of the magnifier here because it's basically been screwing up some, and I can't, they're doing what they're doing to try to stop me from giving you actual factual. Now, you got, you got the sun, you know that's up there to the left no matter what, okay? You're seeing uh, quasar action coming from way out in space. Quasar means there's something going supernova somewhere a long ways away, and we're getting that light action. As you see, it looks like lightning coming across the sky. Now, what they're starting to freak out and worry about is if our atmosphere, they don't know scientifically what our atmosphere, this is CME reactive flare. The sun puts CMEs off, and I'll show you on another channel deal. But when you're looking at this shot here, I'll take you to, to uh, i got to make sure I hit the right one while I'm videotaping here. The, here we are at the other Sechi. This is basically a head. And as I scan all the way across, I got this at 999, and you'll understand that we got Jupiter, Earth, and Mercury is just barely up there on the right. Okay? There, Mercury pops in. So that's basically Mercury there. So you know that when we're on this, now this is a head. Just trust me, I don't have time to go down to get a head shot deal and basically I will when I show you this I guess I'll just stroke down and you'll see that what shot we're at but as you see that more than likely what we've been looking at is there's something here and this is a head this is there's something that we don't know that's out here and this is the Sun over here to the left and that's what I was trying to figure out before how can we have a star so close to the Sun and the Sun's down here doing its action there well we've been looking at all this time the reason they've been giving me such a bad time lately and we also need to study a lot of that stuff in the magnetical when we seen the comet 
you can see the meatball and a bunch of stuff. And the meatball is basically a gigantic mass that's a dead sun star dying out. It's pretty much dead. It's cooled off. And it's a huge magnetical that's actually, I believe, to be bigger than the sun. Either that or it's pretty much identical, close to the same size as the sun. And it's smoldering out. It's basically out there. And you see it in rotationals of the spiral of the sun's track and everything like that. And it's basically part of our magnetical system of the, of the sun that the NASA is just, I, I don't know if they still don't know, realize it or if they just don't want everybody else in the world to know about it. So this is what we're at at that shot there. And if I get back to set you here on the other side, and then you see that there flare that we're getting there. And as you see, I'm at set you, okay? And it's not going to really change much. And the only thing I can do is I can just give you a good blow up and you'll see what I'm, now basically more than likely what we've got is we've got uh, Venus way the hell up here and possibly Mercury. And if not, then what the heck? Because let me give you the angle of what we're shooting at. I'll give you the map. Now, see, they've been giving us this blackout on this stuff, and they basically, I'm going to quit talking, and you'll be able to see that's a head one, H12, da, 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 I don't want to talk, talk, take up tape video time. And then basically, I'll give you uh, where the stereo's at. Okay, so when you're shooting from B, basically, you got only have Earth over here, and then you got the sun. So when you see this action here, we're shooting from here, so they're shooting high, and they're getting Venus and Mercury in the shot, but it's so damn far away, you see, because B's way the hell up here, so you're seeing Venus, and basically more than likely, this may be Venus here and Mercury, since they're shooting at whatever angle they're shooting at, this is more than likely Mercury, because it's small, and Venus looks very large, even at a large distance, so matter what, over to the right here by the sun, I mean by Earth, because the sun's over here to the left. No matter what, we've got a planet down here. And no matter what, that's Venus. And that's Mercury. Okay? And they're shooting way the hell back. They've got their lens real wide to get this. Now what they are... The nervousness and the worriedness and preparedness around the world, every scientist has told everybody, and these astronomers have to keep their mouth shut. They don't. The government keeps them shut up. No matter what, we have that action going on, and what the hell planet is doing a CME reactive flare, okay? You know that it's CME reactive flare. I have taught you that. And you can see also the quasar, basically, which is a gamma rays off of uh, something going supernova way the hell off in space, way the hell off in space. But this here is some planet... So then basically, remember, we're going to be going back on the next videos in the future studying what we were able to see from watching the comet because all of those magneticals that we have found from these angles, when, when you look at these shots, and I'll bounce through here real fast. See, they make that real small, and I blew that up to, to play for you. They're doing, they're blocking this, okay? They're blocking stuff, magnetical lines. They don't want you to see because they don't want you to see that CME action that I've already showed you on this. And also, see, because something's CME in there, okay, right there. Because if I get the magnifier out, it's not going to be much more than just something going CME in up there. And this is all the way to the left because that was a head. This is a head shot from Jupiter, Earth, and Mercury's up there popping in, okay? So we found the magnetical lines by them having to turn around and look at the comet, okay? But what we're seeing now for sure, absolutely, from since we're shooting from B, they're shooting high, they're getting Venus and Mercury in the shot, and we're also getting the Earth that I showed you on the gray before, and that's not the Earth doing that, but what the hell is it? Okay? And it's way the hell off, and it's reacting to the CME, bam, of the sun. And it's a CME reactive flare that an atmosphere does, and it's huge. Is it Saturn? Now, that's what I'm really kind of wondering, because now, look, I'm guessing pretty damn much that basically we would figure, just like I've done before, as I come down here, now, there's more than likely the meatball, okay? Now, it'd be interesting if that's one of the meatballs that is, that is doing a CME reactive flare, that it's black, and then it's a gaseous state, and then, bam -o, it does that flare, okay? And then, is this still the sun up here, or is in the solar panel right here, is this, as you see, they want to bother, big deal, it's a bunch of links, I don't give a rat's ass, I don't have time to edit the video, and yes, it's Van Allen Belt, so I'll throw this in here real fast, it's all from all the satellites, okay, I think I threw it in the video before, 
they're getting all the magnetical. They know the electrical is right. The us electrical people have put it up to physicists' ass that they can't contour anymore. They have to take all the electrical into consideration. They probably already did all the time. I'm not ass gashing. Now I got to get the recorder back. Hang on. Now remember I told you about Google? See, they mirrored me. They they popped in. Remember what I've said on that? Yep, I'm Ralph Black, folks, and they mirrored in. Big deal. They're in here watching and they're trying to mess up this. Now no matter what, it makes it just proportional. You do your gambling betting on football and everything ladies and gentlemen no matter what now no matter what that's something that we found in those magneticals when we were watching the comet and so forth and so on okay because no matter what that is a CME reactive flare no matter what this is mercury here okay and that is more than likely on top is Venus or vice versa this could be Venus that's what I'm basically contending I figure that this but mercury should be the closest but see this probably is the closest this is mercury closest there and then we're getting the CME flare on that because that's behind B. Let me go through this again here. There, they're making that small. I've showed you and gave you that, and there's your map. They're shooting up high. We're getting Venus. We see that large. It's the it's not the closest thing. Mercury's the closest thing, but it's up high. And then we got Earth over here. There's something in between here, like when we were looking at Earth before, when I showed you the Jupiter shot. When we're looking over it at basically looking from and see how they're blocking. So then basically when we're here and they they were pissed off in here because I'm blown up. And I'm not using the magnifier, you see, so they couldn't screw with me too much. So no matter what, we see this. This is what's doing the flare. And then over to the left, more than likely, this is the sun right there. When I was telling you about a star before to the left, that's the sun right there. See how flipping huge it is? Okay, even though it's close to the satellite and everything like that. And see, they, whatever. I'm not trying to bring that up in there. Let's get that out of there. There's no big secret in there as long as they don't tap on any links. What the hell? We'll get to the left, get to the right, because basically I got to get this done. And we got meatball here, the gaseous, more than likely, as you see there. See that big round gaseous or dark blue, whatever the hell it is. Now, let's not make you scared and everything like that's down low, see? Everything's fine because that's down there like that. Now, who's going to pull what with political power and clout and big money and crap and, and stuff like that? Now, that's Venus's magnetical up there. I don't even need to bop around because you realize that there's Mercury to the right. And now, I guess, basically, I can bop up. And there's Venus, okay? Bent down, Mercury and Earth there. And then going across and I'll give you what the shot we're at Jupiter and there's whatever the heck is flaring and you're seeing that when we look at B and remember this is A that we're looking at and that's more than likely the Sun here on the left hand side of the solar panel See, it's because it's so flipping huge and they've been moving the satellites around and you've seen in the videos lately and then basically that's the time and the clock running on this and then we'll get back over to HB and see it's flaring because these satellites are on totally the opposite side, and that absolutely is Venus, and that absolutely is Mercury there. And something's flaring over here in between, and we're going to have to start studying that magnetical on all those objects that we've seen when they turned. They had to turn around and show off how, what they could see. They didn't want to show off how... It, and it's great for American defense, because basically our military, we can see everything out in space and everything like that. So no matter what, and then I'll zoom in on this real fast while we're here, and I'm jabbering my jaws, and I've showed you the map enough and showed you all this footage, and now we'll custom up and we'll go... We'll go 777. Enter. Boom, up, across, on the footage, not hiding from you anything, there's no, and basically that's not the fun, um, that's not the fun sun, ladies and gentlemen, okay? That's a CME reactive flare from something. Is it that gaseous ball that we see in blue? I'm really beginning to believe that it is, okay? Because they're zoomed way the hell out, and it's some gaseous ball, dark matter, gaseous phase that's between us and the massive one all you and there's there's beginning to come off the onion peel that there is gaseous state stuff out in space and that's electrical and then, then that ignites it out there okay now our atmosphere is not gaseous so it won't do this okay these other atmospheres have gaseous states that they do those CME reactive flares to electrical in space and if they admit to the electrical forum then they can calm the whole world down and nothing's going to be wrong with Earth. But see, they're physicists. They don't know. They're doing what we don't know for positive. Well, my theory is correct. Gaseous states will do that. And as we go back to Setsy footage here, I think I'm pretty sure I'll clip into the Setsy footage somewhere here. We're in Setsy here. We're going to go up, back, and across. And you can see gaseous states that are out there. No matter what, that's flaring. So no matter what, that could be it. But that's not the sun. And the sun is up here to the left, okay? It's going to be here to the left. I don't know how the heck I can get rid of that. And no matter what, there's our gaseous ball to the right, 
okay? So there are gaseous balls out here in between big AU and all. There's a bunch of stuff that they need to start messing up, fessing up that they know in space that this stuff's out here. We can see.